to music with Ryan. For this week's feature lesson, we're doing the Kenny Baker fiddle tune, Road to Columbus. It's been requested a few times at my website, and I finally put together a nice intermediate to advanced arrangement. Certainly has lots of hammer-ons, pull-offs, and slides, and some little, uh, you know, some syncopated rhythms and such. And you know, it gets up on the uh, fifth and seventh. You know, we get up there on the uh, on the neck a little bit, and that can be a little tricky to do at those high speeds. You know, this fiddle tune can get burning sometimes. So if you're interested in checking out the full-length version, as this is just a preview here, you can click the link either below in the box or up above, and it'll shoot you over my website. And there you can purchase the full-length version. It'll be like over 30 minutes of video, come with PDF tabs, and uh, four backing tracks. So you can work your speed up. And also in the video lesson, I uh, have kind of like a live or a live practice track where it's just me and the camera, and I play through the whole thing, you know, once slow and then medium and then fast. You can just see the whole arrangement kind of coming together. Um, and of course, I you know during the lesson I break everything down measure for measure, really slow. And uh, yeah, see what you think. If you're really interested in the way I teach and approach learning, you can click the second link up above or down below. It says memberships in there. Learn about being a member to access all my lessons. Uh, for a monthly or yearly fee, you can access everything I do. So you can check that out. But for now, we're going to go ahead and uh, walk through this lesson a little bit. For Road to Columbus, Key of A, I hope you enjoy, and thanks for watching. All right, so let's go ahead and break down Road to Columbus here in the Key of A. So capo second fret playing out of G position, all right? And uh, make sure you really watch the uh, pick directions or the pick markings below the staff as this song is full of hammer-ons and pull-offs and slides, okay, and obviously having the right or correct right hand is going to allow you to play this arrangement and, you know, any arrangement for that matter, up to speed cleanly. So pay really close attention to the right hand. If something's not right, could be, odds are, I've found it's in the right hand. Um, and then any markings above the staff are uh, left hand fingerings, which there are a few things for reminders, especially on the B part. All right, um, so I'm gonna play the first three measures and then we'll break them down here a little slower. Starts on beat two, so kind of a nice big little pickup here, but um, sounds like this. Three, four, one. And I ended on the first note of measure four. Again, three, four, one. So again, starting on beat two, that first marking there is a quarter note rest. Um, and then, yeah, we have to pick up on beat two. So zero two hammer on the D, and then open D, and then one two slide on the A, and then open D again. And we're gonna do this little lick again as well. I want to keep that first finger down. I kind of want that this note right here, which is a well, I would in position wise is a B note, and I want that to ring. Okay, when I get down to the low E third fret. And you notice there's a double up in there because I have a slide, so it's down, down, up, up. So you gotta come from the D string all the way to the low E string, okay? A little hop there. I really like the way that lick sounds. Um, and then the second full measure, um, it's pretty much a G run. Pretty much it is. And it's third fret, and an open A, First fret A, hammer, second fret A, D string, and then second fret D and pull off to zero. And then end the, end the phrase on the next third measure, you open G string there. End that. Okay. And I probably my second finger is probably what will be used here in the third fret. And 
then that third measure, again, you, you know, ended that phrase with the open G string quarter note there. And then open B, second fret G, and then you pull off to zero. And then second fret D, and then zero, one on the D. Okay, and then you'll go to zero, one, two. That's way, the, kind of finishing that phrase again. Do it again, that measure, three, four. Ready, go. And again, there's a double up in there. There's gonna be a lot of measures with double up in there with, from the, just kind of the way it wrote the arrangement and kind of the rhythmic themes that are going on. It just kind of calls for some of that. Second measure, second and third measures, three, four. All three of these measures in context a couple times. One, two, three, four, one. Three, four, one. Okay. All right, so moving on, the next four minutes. 